Okay, so this first one says calculate the molar mass of magnesium sulfate pentahydrate. Okay, so let's figure out how to do that. molar mass of magnesium sulfate pentahydrate. So the first thing we've got to do is what? Figure out what magnesium sulfate pentahydrate is. Hopefully you guys know that since we've been doing problems on that all morning. So this this um, this compound here is called a hydrate. And it's got these water molecules associated with each one of these formula units. Okay, it's got five water molecules associated with it. So when we're talking about the molar mass, we have to include those five water molecules within the molar mass. So when we're talking about molar mass, we're not talking about molecular weight. It's different, right? Molecular weight is measured in units of what? AMU, right? And molar mass? Grams per mole. Per mole. Per mole. Molar mass, grams per mole. Okay. So how do we figure out what the molar mass is here? We can do the same thing as looking for like formula weight or molecular weight. Okay. Except we have to remember that if we look up at the periodic table, it no longer tells us AMU but grams per mole. Is everybody okay with that? So let's just write it out. So molar mass of this compound is going to be 1 times magnesium, right? So 24.3050 grams per mole plus 1 times sulfur. 32.065 grams per mole. And then, well, some people would like to do all the oxygens together. I like to just keep the water molecules separate because I know water is 18.02. So, how many water or how many oxygens in the sulfate part? Four. Four. Plus five waters, 18.02 grams per